Welcome everybody. This is Mark. And this is our post debate recap. Okay, let's talk about Trump. He came in there thinking he's going to win. He doesn't do any preparation for debates. He's thinking it's going to be easy. He doesn't respect Kamala. Ah, that was a fantastic move. My favorite part is the one that everybody's joking about, where Kamala talked about his crowd size. And what did Trump do? She do -do 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 took the bait and ran with it, saying his debates were better, nobody leaves them. And then he pivots into migrants. Illegal immigrants or Haitians are coming to Springfield, Ohio. It was a story that was floated around by J.D. Vance, and it was rebuked, but somehow he pushed that they're eating the cats and dogs. And the moderator said, no, sir, that is not true. And he's like, ha ha, I saw it on TV. Double down, double down. He had it out and he pulled it back. Fantastic moment. Because if you're an undecided voter and you're like, what is this crazy man talking about? I follow this stuff, but a lot of people don't. So if you don't get up to date with all the crazy MAGAverse stuff, you got a real insight into it right there. Now, my other, well, there's so many great nuggets. The other one that's good is he kept saying that uh, Democrats uh, want abortions in the ninth month. Nobody does that. And after they're born, which would be called execution. And nobody is calling for that at all, right? Okay, so that's crazy stuff. They pushed back on that, finally, something we were hoping that Biden wouldn't do, but he keeps saying that. So any normal person out there can say, this man is unfit. Now, I did watch some of the stuff after and some people were pro-Trump and watched it and were still pro-Trump. Those people are what we call lost causes. They drank the Kool-Aid. They are never running from this psychopath. Now, the other big nugget was, what did he, he talked about um, migrants or transgender and coming across the border and taking all your jobs. Um, what? First of all, no one just runs across, oh, look, a job and taking. The other time he said that was um, black jobs. You're coming to take your black jobs. So meanwhile, they running over here. They don't really have any documentation, no papers. And a tough job market, they're just like, ah, here's, here's a job for you. Okay, that is obviously unrealistic, but yet he keeps pushing that. So somehow the transgender migrants coming over here they're getting hormones. We don't know what, we didn't really go into it too far down that rabbit hole because it's crazy town. Another time he said he didn't bring it up on this debate, luckily, although unluckily because it would have been hilarious. Um, he's saying that in schools right now, in schools right now, that kids are going to school and then the school is just redoing their gender and they're coming home. Hey, look, Timmy came back now. It's Lisa. And the parents said, didn't know anything about it. And then the kids are saying years later, what the hell happened to me? And yet people believe this crazy stuff. Crazy Donnie. This is what he believes. This is what's going on in Trump world. Why? Because they don't have any good policies. None. He talks about his immigration bill, right? Kamala snapped back said that Trump killed the immigration bill. Why? Because Trump needs it to run on. Yeah, it's just absolutely true. So I was talking to some, uh, you know, online, to some like mega supporters, and they don't even know anything about it because they're not force fed this. So I sent, so I showed the article, I said, look, Republicans actually came out and said, yeah, Trump said to kill this bill. It doesn't resonate with them. So, those are like three of the craziest, craziest things that Trump said. There's so many more. You can watch on my next video. Okay, tell me what you thought were some of the craziest things that Trump said. I would like to hear what you're saying. Okay.
watch for more videos. Thank you.